Hey guys, Devin from Delta Sleep here. I'm here in sunny, beautiful Oxford, and we're at the Big Scary Monsters Social Club. We're gonna choose some records and combine them with some beers. So let's go. Alkaline Trio. Why is he the new singer of Blink-182? I have no idea. Are you guys into that? I'm, I'm not into that. Big Blink-182 fan. Not, not with that. Um, what was it? Oh, yes. Big Thief, big record. Definitely gonna choose this one. I will put that to side right here. Cursive, great band. That's all. <laughs> Delta Sleep. Apparently they're pretty good. I don't know. But they have a lot of records. They have this. Apparently this is like a Japan special release with a band called Trico singing on it. And But I haven't heard it, so I don't know. And apparently this is like quite a decent album. It's like a classic, some might say. And then apparently this is a very good EP, but again, who am I to say? Gender Rolls, have to shout out Gender Rolls, very good band. Straight up, energy, pop punky vibes, just great songs really. And if all goes well, we'll be touring with them in America. They will be supporting us, obviously. But anyway, they're a great band. And I love that they've done all the felt. Everything's out of felt. It is very interesting. Love that. Have to shout out Holding Patterns as well. These guys used to be in Crash of Rhinos and they're just such a, such a great band. Also, Holding Patterns are a very, very good band too. And funny story, Jim from Holding Patterns almost did our new album artwork. We were talking with him about it. He's a, he did this lovely graphic design stuff as well. He's a very good artist, check him out. Um, now some of you might be looking at this thinking it's just a whole lot of painting splodges on a record cover, but this album is amazing. Hop along, bark your head off. I'm definitely taking that. I just saw this, I have no idea what it is, but it says we cool. Yeah, we cool. We definitely cool. What more to be said? La Dispute, Rooms of the House. Classic album. Classic album. Very, very good album. This album, Into It, Over It. Standards. Evan came to our show in Chicago and I was like, that's crazy, the guy from Into It Over It is at our show because I've been listening to them like m way before we actually met and yeah, really super nice guy and th this album in particular is very, very worth checking out. Very, very Mimi in St. Louis, shout out Toby, the singer, such a lovely guy. Um, all the guys are lovely, but Toby is, is the guy I know the most and he's in a new band called Laundromat who are amazing, so definitely check them out. Very, very cool. Meshuggah! <laughs> very surprising to see a Meshuggah vinyl in the BSM shop, but actually no, who am I to say? It's a very eclectic taste here, obviously. And uh, yeah, great band. I saw them with the Dillinger Escape Plan in Belgium in like 2013 or something and it was it just blew my mind this show like crazy crazy show amazing lineup as well what a band beatdowns like no one no one else holy ghost the king of sad boy emo very good songwriting they're not it's not called holy ghost it's called modern baseball but the album is called holy ghost Funny story about The Offspring, The Offspring was my first ever show. I saw them in Belgium in this like massive sort of sports hall. It was like mega 
mega venue, like the opposite of like a small sort of DIY show. But supporting them was a band called AFI and I got massively into them. They were like, they blew me away. And it, that was the first time I'd ever seen like a supporting band, let alone a band like that I really, really sort of felt passionate about. And then basically the two previous years, I was just massive AFI fanboy kind of like painted my nails and I was like I felt like I was the coolest kid in high school but I was probably the the lamest kid in high school but I didn't care because I had music and punk and goth punk so thank you to the offspring for that I gotta, gotta shout out pup pup are amazing great song great energy great music videos great band and then definitely have to shout out real terms Amazing band. They should be a lot more recognised than they are. I think this is their this is their first record, and it's only five songs. Please make more songs, Real Terms. You're very good. That's all. Have to shout out in Technicolor. Dave from a band called Delta Sleep, the bassist. This is his passion project. It's like sludgy, stonery, Queens of the Stone Age, red fangy fun stoner music okay so I feel like maybe into it over it would be seems like a stouty kind of guy but also this is the same color as the Goose Island IPA which is brewed in Chicago so this feels very Chicago yeah I'm gonna go with that one and we got Ooh, definitely got to get a Belgian guy on the vibes. Have to get some Belgian stuff in here. Orval, classic Belgian beer. Had many of these in my day. Lovely. And then we got. Oh yeah. Something classy. Let's go with this one. All right, so first record we have Into It Over It Standards. I love this album. I was a massive fan of his earlier stuff, but I feel like this was a mega pro like progression from the, his, his music before. Um, just feels a lot more produced, a lot more interesting soundscapes going on, and the album cover is amazing. It comes with all of these like pull out sort of images of this like what do you call this? Embroidery, I guess? And you can like change the album cover if you want. It's a very, very beautiful record and a very, very good record. So with this one, I've chosen this stout because Evan, the singer, seems like a stouty guy. I don't even know if he drinks, but he seemed like he would like a, a very a dark, refined, sort of oaky coffee flavor beer so I chose that and also it looks like Goose Island and it's called Snake Island funnily enough um, Goose Island which is an IPA brewed in Chicago so I feel like these are a good combination very good so next what are these just there Thanks to the aloe. cool so next we have hop along bark your head off this is an amazing album. Hop Along, I feel they have three, al three albums, right? Hop Along. I think they have three. This is their third. This is their last album, anyway. You don't know? I th I'm pretty sure this is their third album, by the way. Um, yeah, I love this band. I love the voice of Frances, the singer. She's just incredible, so unique. Like the first time I heard them, I was instantly like drawn to them. And the beer that I chose for them is this Belgian beer called Orval, which is very nice. And the reason I chose this is because we were supposed to play with Hopalong in Belgium, but then the terrorist attack happened and the show was canceled. And this was like in 2017, I think. And so, yeah, unfortunately, I never got to play with them and meet them and stuff, but hopefully at some point soon, we will do that. So yeah, Hopalong and Orval. And the album cover suits the beer very, very nicely, actually. If you look at it. Okay. 
It's actually pronounced Orval, by the way. Not or Orval, or however, however you want to say that. Orval. Okay, and then last, we have Big Thief, Capacity, amazing album. This was the first album that I discovered of Big Thief's um, through the song Shark Smile, which is a banger. And since then, pretty much everything they put out is just amazing songwriting. Also, Adrian Lenka, who is here, she is the main songwriter, I want to say. Her solo stuff is amazing as well. And yeah, definitely worth checking out. So for them, I chose Invisible Ceiling Pale Ale, which looks very classy, very streamlined sort of visuals going on, which I think suits it. And goes with the song Shark Smile because of the blue. So, saying, having said all of that, it is now time to crack open the beer. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> 